So 37 minutes of cardio with the cool down. I have really got to find my um, charger for my smartwatch. I tried to show you guys what I was drinking. I don't think the camera caught it. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. But this is, um, let me get the bottle. I'll show you. Okay. So this is the aloe water. It's the crisp, it's aloe vera, Fiji apple and pear. So when I get this from Walmart, and I like to drink these in the morning because like first thing, because aloe vera is really good at keeping you hydrated. So I added this and I also added watermelon juice, which I'm out of right now, but I wanna make some um, watermelon juice is really good also at keeping you hydrated what i want to do is buy um a juicer and make my own instead of buying it directly like pre-made out of the store because i heard that it tastes so much better when you make it fresh um but for now until then i am mostly drinking this because i like how this tastes more so than the pre-made watermelon juice even though it is really good for you I haven't been to the gym since like a week or two weeks before Christmas, y'all, because I had COVID and all that. And I was like, you know what? Between, you know, recovering from stage one breast cancer and a bilateral mastectomy and having COVID and I didn't even know I had COVID, but all that, I'm just going to give my body a chance to just woosah, you know what I'm saying, for the rest of 2022. And then when January 2023 hits... I'll add um, more physical activity to what I'm already doing. Um, so I'm trying to give my body a little bit of grace, you know what I'm saying, to, to heal. So what I added was trying to get in like 30 minutes of cardio in the morning at least three to four days a week. Do that in the morning and then go to the gym um, in the afternoons and do my weightlifting and then get in about 10 or 15 minutes of cardio at the end of my weightlifting. So I'm adding an extra cardio session in per day. So a more extensive cardio. Um, and that's just to get like my endurance back up because if you lift weights, then you know that when you lift, that takes a lot of endurance. So I wanna build myself back up to that. So plan for today. My main plan for today is I have two main objectives for today, y'all. One, I told you guys I was going to limit my um, alcohol, like wine, liquor, pretty much everything. I'm not doing liquor at all, at all. And then as far as wine, I'm going to tr make an attempt to switch to non-alcoholic wine. So non-alcoholic wine is something that I never tried. Um, I tried the carbonated grape juices. It just ain't the same, y'all. It's just not the same. So I'm like, I gotta find a happy median between the grape juice and the wine. So I'm gonna try non-alcoholic wine. So I've been doing some research. There is a store here called Fresh Market that I'm gonna attempt to make it by today um, to get like a bottle or two and just try it. Um, and then, so let me check my phone and see what else I had on the schedule. So we're gonna dress. I may meet Jeremy for lunch. I don't know how his schedule looks today. Um, he was talking about going to some brunch place for lunch. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. Uh, fresh market to get the alcohol free wine. And then I need to go out of the grocery store because I'm not sure what I'm going to make for dinner. Like I text everybody, um, the girls at school, Jeremy's at work. I text everybody and ask them like for dinner suggestions. Um, and they're all, somebody's talking about you know, chicken packets, the way I make with the chicken and the vegetables and the rice. Um, Zara's talking about a chicken salad. So more than likely, I'm going to go by the store. And I think that's it for today. I mean, unless something else pops up. But y'all, yeah, 
I got the kids on the bus this morning, and I was like, you know what? I stayed up late last night doing homework. It's like 3, 3.30, trying to knock that out. So when I got everybody on the bus this morning, the bus comes at like 6.50, 7 o'clock. I was like, you know what? I'm going to lay it back down and take me a nap. I'm um, going to take me a nice hot shower, get some skincare in, um, get situated, and then hop on this dress over here on this table. That's been over here for days, y'all. Just days. Just over here. Just on my, just taking up space on my dining room table. These are, turn this fan out so y'all can hear me. These are rejuvenating gold hydrogel under eye patch. Um, so they go under your eye to prevent like dark circles. Um, but what they do is replenish the skin to help protect and preserve. Um, they help to reduce the appearance of fine lines and dark circles. I got these in a pack, in a box. I think it's like eight or 10 from Ulta. They're made by Earth Therapeutics. So, and then you just place them under your eye. Y'all yeah, been placing these wrong for like forever. I was doing like the wide side first instead of doing like this. And they were getting away with me blinking. And I was like, why can I not blink my eyes? Because I had on backwards. I had this part over here. So I'm gonna place these on my eye and then I'm going to get situated to get ready to leave. All right, so while these sit, I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair. I moisturized it this morning, but while working out, now it's all frizzy again. So I'm gonna do my hair now so I can go ahead and like semi dry before I go outside because I think it's pretty cold outside. And since I already moisturized it, I'm just gonna add some more mousse. And right now I'm using the Tresemme. This one right here for curls. So. Put some mousse on it. The gel that I'm using is, um, it's the next of us styling gel with avocado oil. So this is the gel that I'm using right now. I really like this gel because it doesn't dry your hair out. Um, it actually moisturizes it. So I think that's the avocado that's in it but it gives your hair like a shine to it and when it dries it doesn't seem like it's all crunchy so that's what I like about it so I'm just going to fix my parts because it's a little crooked So I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed um, because I don't know if Jeremy may call me to meet up with him while I'm out already. Cause once I come back in, I don't plan on going back out. So if he can't go now, then we probably just won't go at all. And then maybe we'll just go somewhere later. Um, Cause like I said, once I start the sewing, I don't want to have to stop and do anything. So, 
hopefully we can go but if not then not we'll just go another time but I don't want to like you know be out there and then he's like oh can you meet me you know and then I'm like oh you know I just threw on some leggings and stuff I wasn't planning on meeting you so this way if he can't go then I'm already dressed I mean I keep playing around with the idea of another wig but I'm just like I'm just so not like a wig person like it's I've done extensions before but to me like a wig is like a whole different level like I tried the wigs and stuff when I was doing chemo and I was like you know what it's not for me and I see so many really pretty ones or I see people out and about and I think it's like their real hair and they're like oh this is a wig I'm like oh my goodness because it's a, I guess because it's applied so well so I was thinking about like maybe I get a glueless one you know just for when I want to do like a ponytail or I'm gonna move you know for some length some hair on my shoulders you know I don't know but I also don't want to impede the growth of my hair which I know a lot of people's hair does do fine you know with wigs but then some people's don't like mine may be the kind that just don't do well with wearing it you know wearing one consistently so I don't know I'm playing around with the idea it's like one day I'm like yeah and next day I'm like mm, maybe not okay so I am just going to do something really quick um as far as makeup so I just recently saw where there's this makeup called makeup by Mario I think it is and I went to Sephora actually to find it and I did the try to get color match and the shade that I needed they did not have it in stock so I need to go to the Sephora in the mall so hopefully sometime this week I can find time to run by there um I want to go today but I'm not even going to get sidetracked because I need to go run these two errands and come back um uh, or meet up with Jeremy and run these two errands and come back because I go to the mall like this dress won't even happen today so I'm not gonna let myself get sidetracked so right now I just used um the elf glow dewy mist I've had this for a while as you can see because the spray top is missing um but you can see so I, this is probably my third bottle of this it helps to give it helps to really moisturize your face and give it like a really wet too like with my hands like how shiny my hands are so I do that then a primer and then I don't do like heavy makeup every day I'll do a little concealer um and I'll do a tinted moisturizer my primer and so today I'm using photo finish by Smashbox I mean y'all probably already heard of this this is like been around for a hot minute so I'm gonna rub that in normally I use this one but no pour no primer but Ulta has been out of this one um so maybe Sephora has it. I don't know if they care this one or not but I got this from Ulta like a while back and it's empty so this, the photo finish is what I got when they did not have this one so it's like my second pick second option it's just that this one is not as greasy um, as the photo finish. And now I'm going to go in with um, my sponge. And I'm going to use, today I'm using Milani um, Hydrating Skin Tint in 310, medium to dark. I'm going to, I like to take my sponge and like spray it with some of this but I don't have a spray on it so I'm just gonna pour a little bit on there and I'm gonna dab that on my face and my goal here is just to get the shine off my face and make it you know more even um not to look like I have on a face full of makeup so now what I'm gonna do is go in 
with the concealer you don't have to it's just you know I'll do it sometimes around my eyes and in here and in the bridge of my nose and then so I have so this this concealer is by Milani also it's a conceal and perfect as long wear concealer um, and this one is in warm tan 160 if y'all can see it warm tan 160 and like I said the Milani um, hydrating skin tint is the one I'm using is 310 so both these come from Walmart Walgreens um, and then deep cinnamon that's what I'm using right now and this camo one it's a 16 hour camo concealer I have actually worn this by itself y'all like I've done like this it's a little bit of water I'm blending it out and it looks good so I had to go like all on my cheeks with this one like that This is the top that I got from Target that day from the junior section. I'm gonna show y'all in the mirror, but it fits really cute. My waist and these pants are like, um, it comes up for a narrow waist. So the pants fit really good. I got these pants from Target also a couple days ago. I took the girls to Target before they went back to school um, after Christmas break. So they could, you know, they got, of course, gifts for Christmas, but they also got money. So, you know, they was, have money was burned a hole in their pocket, y'all. They didn't want to save. They want to go and spend it. So, and I found these pants and these shades, y'all. I found these shades also. $10. Actually, $12. $12 at Target. So, really cute. They were marked down. Um, were these marked down? No, they had a lot of ones in there that was marked down to ten dollars, but those were twelve dollars. So what I'm using my brows right now is a combination of two different products. So I've been using the um, the pomade made by Anastasia, and of course a narrow brush, and then I've also been using uh, the NYX lift and snatch um brown tint pen so i've been using two colors i have been using black and black and espresso i just found the espresso one or i have been using the brunette so i think i'm using black and brunette together but the espresso works better i don't know i think this is the one i use regularly so what I've been doing is taking the pomade and doing like my inner brow, like from the arch this way, and then taking a the pin and filling in here, and then taking a the pin and creating um, like a fill line down at the bottom. So, So I've just been filling the pomade in up to the arch, y'all. Same thing with this one. All right, so then I've been taking um, the pen. So I'm try espresso today because I think this is the one I've been primarily using. But I started blending the black and the brunette together because I could not find the espresso. So then I'm going to go over the entire brow with the hair like strokes. I have some hair that's growing like right down in this area right here. It's filling back in. So I'm really trying hard not to like shave that off because, you know, I want to see what it looks like when it grows back in. Um, 
because hopefully that gives me once that grows back in that gives me like that solid line down here because that's where I'm missing the hair at like right there so now I won't have to fill that in because like I said I'm not an everyday makeup you know kind of person like there's some days I may go you know two three four days without wearing any makeup and then some days I'm like you know what I want to get cute I wear some makeup you know my eye is like So now I'm going to do this one. So lighter, so you can kind of like, you know, define it. So, and these are in Walmart. I think these pens are like 14 bucks, 13 bucks. Again, they are made by NYX. But where I can always find it at is Target. Like Target always has these in stock. Walmart sometimes. They have them in stock, but they won't have the color. So, and then. All right, so lashes. I'm gonna go in with primer. So this primer is made by Voluminous. It's L'Oreal. And apply it to my lashes. <clears throat> so like I said, just easy, you know, natural looking makeup today. Not like, you know, no lashes or nothing like that. Just, I feel like getting a little cute today. You know, real quick, mom on the go. Makeup. You know, you're trying to get your boom boom power on, you know what I'm saying? Then, yeah. But just to have on like a face full of makeup every single day, like, no. That's not me. So, this mascara is made by Milani, also. So this is just the tinted moisturizer and concealer and primer. So the powder that I'm using today is by the powder I'm using today is by Black Radiance. Um, True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder. This one is in I think bronze. I don't see the color on here. Yep, bronze, creamy bronze, 9202 creamy bronze. You guys can see that. So, and this is what the front of it looks like. Um, Okay, y'all, so that's with the finishing powder. And then I'm gonna do some lip. So this is Maybelline. This is in um, Pioneer. This is their um, Matte Ink Superstay. All right, so now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna do um, Huda today, and I'm just gonna get myself like a this dewy bronze right here, like one, like this one, and.
All right, so my entire face is done. So now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. This is their long lasting one. Moisturizer we used earlier in the, the very first beginning, the, this bottle right here, is coconut and argan oil. Um, so it's a coconut infused mist that hydrates and boosts glow. So my skin seems to work really well with coconut as far as my body, as far as my face. So, um, it's oil that moisturizes me really good without breaking out, without breaking me out. So I'm just gonna clean up right here in the inside, and then I'm take my setting mist. Do a little fan. So I got my fan here. On my face, all right, y'all. So that is it. It's that dewy glow over there because I can't stand when makeup gets like dry and ashy, and it's not very good. All right, so that's all dry. This is the makeup for a day. I'm gonna show you guys the outfits here in a second. And we're gonna get ready to head out. I actually think I might wear my shades today. Um, it's not very bright outside. All right, so today, how cute they are. Like, these are cute. Cute, cute. Like, mm hmm. Yeah, I probably can get away wearing these, but they're like, you can see how they're like barely tinted. Um, it's like just enough to say that they're shades. Um, I think they're so cute. And these were $12, y'all. $12 from good old Tarjay. So, I'm about to show y'all the whole outfit. I'm going to put my watch on. And then, we can get ready to head out. Okay, y'all. So, I'm about to head out. So, this is the cardigan that you guys see me purchase the last time when I was in target the one that was from the kids section like i said it's a crop so it comes like above my belly button um and then these pants so this cardigan was $19.99 like i said if you're looking for it at target it's in the children's section i got an extra large um as you can see it is a little big i probably could have got a large these pants are from target as well in the women's section <laughs> they were $32 y'all so they only have this one and it's funny because i was in the wine section and i asked somebody that works here and they were like it's over here it's next to all the sparkling grape juices so this one is called toast it's a rose it's a sparkling white tea ginger and elderberry contains no alcohol so i wanted to get two different types um, but this is the only one that they have. It's just that. So, I guess we'll try this. He said they normally have two other types, but they're sold out of it. Probably because it's right after New Year's. So, I'll just keep checking back to see if they have any new ones. because we found it 
We found it. We found the non-alcoholic wine. Why am I so excited, y'all, about non-alcoholic wine? Because this is the closest I'm gonna get to having the real thing. You know, I have been on my quest to not drink alcohol since like the beginning of November, y'all. And it's a choice that I'm making, yes. You know, I can always just go back to drinking it. I just feel like it's not worth the risk. Um, and if I can't drink, you know, if I can't have like two or three glasses of wine and not worry about it, then I just don't want it. You know, I can have like one glass a day, but you know, I like having options. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to be restricted. So I want two glasses. If I want no glasses, if I want one glass, if I want three glasses, I feel like I'm, I, that's what I'm going to want to do. You know, um, there may be like a month go by where I won't drink anything like no wine, no alcohol, no nothing. Like just pretty much just water. I won't, I'll say I won't do sodas. I'll do like water and juice. Okay, and then I'll be like, okay, well, that time frame goes by, and I decide to pick back up. You know, I say, okay, mm, I got taste for some wine. You know, I might want two or three glasses. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so if I can't drink it like that to where I got to worry about um, the possibility of like a cancer reoccurrence or something, because supposedly um, it's not like it's not tremendous research on this, but supposedly. Um, it contributes towards um, uh, breast cancer and breast cancer reoccurrences. Like so, now pretty much I just take everything into consideration. It just says that per drink, you know, you increase your chances by like ten percent. So in my mind, I'm like doing the calculations. Boop 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 boop. If I have two to three glasses, it's like say for instance, if I have you know two glasses a day, two glasses a day, three times in the course of a week. So two, four, six, six times 10, you know, you do the math, boop, 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 boop. That's 60%, y'all, and ain't nobody got time for that. Um, as far as just in my mind, cause I'm an overthinker, you know, it's going to, it's gonna mess with me. So in my head, I'm just like, you know what? I don't even need it, you know what I'm saying? If I can't do it like I wanna do it, then I just won't have it. So that's what I have been doing. You know, I've been doing the carbonated, grape juices but i was like you know what it's got to be something it's got to be something better you know what i'm saying help a sister out also i got um so yeah here it is it's a rose i am glad that it's a rose because rose wines um or you know rose flavored drinks tend to be a little bit more forgiving than like the red grapes because the red grapes are like rich they're deep they're strong and it's like if it tastes nasty it just tastes nasty this one has sparkling white tea ginger and elderberry i mean a sparkling white tea and ginger i mean it sounds good right like i want to find out what that tastes like also i got some of these yummy yummy uh mini cinnamon croissants from there they had a really good bakery session session section there so i'm gonna try these out and then also by the checkout they had some of this yummy yummy popcorn uh, strawberry shortcake drizzled popcorn um kettle pop so this is 140 calories it's um vegan kosher whole grain plant-based no artificial ingredients preservative free no high fructose corn syrup so those are two things that i look for now in my products okay no preservatives and high fructose corn syrup free i Wanted to go by Target, but I didn't have time because I didn't want to go in there and run the risk of getting here late as far as with the bus. And then I have to go pick Hendrix up here in a little bit from drop-in care. So right now I'm about to change my clothes um, and make me some lunch really quick. I had some M&Ms in the car. It belonged to one of the kids. So somebody's going to be upset to go back and look for them, um, but I'm still hungry. So I'm going to make me a grilled cheese sandwich and some tomato soup. I don't know if it's because it's cold outside. It's not cold, it's just really windy. Every time it gets to be like really cool weather, like cozy, comfortable weather, you know, sweater weather, um, I really have a taste for a grilled cheese sandwich and tomato soup.
after all that cutting y'all and pinning it is time to eat dinner so if you follow me on instagram or on tiktok then you have seen me make this a lot in the past couple of days i have become hooked on salmon and snow peas and jasmine rice everybody else wanted something different jeremy wanted pizza the boys wanted mcdonald's the girls wanted zaxby's so i was like you know what i'm gonna make me some good old salmon and snow peas and jasmine rice with some garlic alioli sauce y'all this is so delicious it's healthy it's so good it's quick um it's something that doesn't cost a lot to make even if you want to make it for the entire family this is one of my favorite dishes right now okay so with my food i am going to make uh italian cream soda this is really good. I learned how to make this. Um, I used to get them all the time from Olive Garden. All it takes is a little bit of tonic water or seltzer water, pretty much carbonated water with um, any flavor of coffee, creamer. You can add vanilla flavoring. You can add the flavor coffee syrups, but it's really easy to make. Put it in the shaker cup, you know, shake it around, pour it in a cup. You can even add brown sugar if you like. Add a straw. Delicious. This is what I'm eating, you guys. Quick, healthy, and delicious. I'm about to sit down, watch one of my favorite movies, sip on my rosé and eat me some popcorn so jeremy is in his office he is taking a proctor test um like we could have set the video camera up and record yourself all that so he's like don't leave me up wait for me wait until i take my test and sometimes those tests can take like an hour and a half so i'm like okay i'll i'll chill on the couch i'll watch one of my movies you know what I'm saying? But if you catch me, if you come out, you know, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes later, and you catch me snoring, just put a blanket on me and just leave me be. So, but I want to tell you guys real quick about the, um, the rosé. So, of course, it's not going to be like, you know, wine, like real alcohol. Um, it does, it tastes okay. Um, it tastes like a heavily flavored um one of those hard seltzers but a little softer if that makes any sense i guess because of the ginger um and the white tea and all that it's flavored but it's not strong flavored and that makes any sense so would i purchase this again i don't know um i would i would i'll purchase it again I can really taste the white tea. I can't really taste the ginger, maybe a little bit at the end, you know, but I definitely do not taste the elderberry. I don't taste the elderberry at all. The ginger at the very end, but the white tea throughout. So um, it is carbonated. It is, you know, you can tell it's good. You know, like I said, it'll, it'll never be wine. You know, no matter how good it is, it will never be wine. This is one of the things that, it's like creating a new normal, you know. Um, I'm creating a new normal. It's going to take some time to get used to. Hopefully, three to six months from now, I'll drink a glass of this. And I'm like, y'all, this is so good, you know, kind of thing. It's new. You know what I'm saying? I got to I gotta give it a minute. Y'all, he's supposed to be asleep. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. And he's still up. Good night. Give me a kiss. Good night. Good night. Night. Love you. I want, I want to, to watch a, a movie with this popcorn tomorrow. You want to watch a movie with popcorn tomorrow? Yeah, with this popcorn. You like this popcorn? Yeah, because it's yummy. Oh, the bad guys one. The bad guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you to watch it with us. Okay. Good night. Mm. 
Y'all probably like, what movie you gonna watch? What movie you gonna watch? I'm gonna show you guys. It's about to come on. I'm gonna show you guys what movie I'm about to watch. So yes, y'all, First Wives Club, one of my favorite movies. If you've never seen it, watch it. It's a very good movie. That is it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to click the subscribe button below, and I'll see you guys back here. I am Modern Fox.